Good morning, this is Tina Butler reporting live from somewhere underground in Saudi Arabia. As you can see, I am in this thing that looks, a building looks like a theater. This is actually a huge bunker that's underground that they have built under the eyes of underneath where the Saudi Arabia's government could not see them. Over here you can see there's a flag behind me. These are Americans that have done that, people from the United States. So <clears throat> their goal here is to come over here to be missionaries, to teach the gospel and to preach about God and give out Bibles. But here in Saudi Arabia, it is illegal to do that. It's illegal to hand out Bibles. It's illegal to worship publicly. Just last week, there was a family that was burned alive as an example to others because they were caught singing out in their backyard. So this morning, Early this morning, we heard that tankers were on their way to another home that was known to be a place of worship where people would gather. So they were able to get to that family really quick and bring them here and place them underground. And as I said, this is an undisclosed location, so I can't tell you where I'm at. <clears throat> so you could get the death penalty. That is um, what they told me here in Saudi Arabia, that if you come here and you give out Bibles and you're caught, they could kill you. There are not many human rights here in Saudi Arabia for people at all and that's even for the extremists and the locals the government has put a mandate on the world that they will accept any or put a mandate out to the world that they'll accept any religion here and striving to be religiously tolerant but what I'm told by here the local Christians is that they're just saying that as a trick in order to bring more Christians here in order to kill them they say that they lie all the time trying to kill Christians they say they'll never stop trying to educate uh, the people here will never stop trying to educate people about Jesus. Plans are updated all the time for futures, for ideas to go out into communities. They continue to look forward to the future where Christianity will be accepted here. When I am above ground, I have to dress with a black cloak over me because, and I don't have a crew with me. That's why I'm recording on my cell phone now because I would draw too much attention to myself. And they said for my safety, I don't need to advertise who I am and to dress uh, accordingly like where they wouldn't... Uh, recognize me here and I would in this cloak that I wear it covers my hair and my body it's called a hijab and I think that's the way you say it hijab and you have just a little slit for your eyes to see out of um, I was told that I don't have to do this but it would be in my best interest so that's what I chose to do before we had to go underground, the locals took me to an ancient ruin site we all know the history here in Saudi Arabia is not pretty for Christians in general there is a Holocaust overtone to the situation. There were trenches and trenches of bones of Christians from AD 523. I learned about a story of how thousands of Christians were forced into that place and were burned alive by a Jewish tyrant when they refused to give up their beliefs. There's a museum here that barely mentions the massacre in it, but I'm told the same massacre is mentioned in the Quran, and it says, slain were the men of the pit, the fire fed with fuel when they were seated by it and were witnesses of what they did with the believers. They took revenge on them and because they believed in God the Almighty. The locals here say this place is sacred and holy and because the people who died were from some of the first to be martyred for their faith and that's, that's the reason they consider it holy. I've been told that we're going to stay underground for a while for at least another week for our safety. These people here are prepared to take care of at least a hundred people for several months and with the rations they've stored up Today is the 8th, approximately noontime, 2024, in case this comes across late to America. Again, this is Tina reporting from Saudi Arabia, underground. Tina Butler here reporting live, again, underground. I'm going to add that additional footage at the end because that I took of the armory and things like that uh, and of a cannon because they're not aware that I did that. Um, <laughs> Sounds like, sounds like the takers are coming our way. Tina Butler here, again, reporting from underground in the bunker. Some additional extra footage um, I thought I would share with you of the armory that they have, some of the stuff they have built up. Right here, you can see they have guns, canteens, blankets of that sort. This is just the outside of it. There's a whole other room just packed full of it for their protection.